Part two, Ringo vs. Riva. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! She got pregnant by a ninja on YouTube. Oh, shit. She talk all this crap about black men this and black men dusty and black men. She got pregnant by a black dude, bro. On YouTube. Pregnant. And the, based on what I'm hearing, the dude have multiple baby mamas and kids all over the place. She got pregnant by him. Damn. And continued to try to talk about black men in a negative way. <laughs> what if that happened to this woman right here? The sisterhood coming for you. Oh, if this woman get pregnant out of wedlock and become a single mom, the sisterhood is coming for this woman hard body, bro. Truth. She won't she <laughs> won't hear the last of that, man. Career is over. Don't try to destroy her. That's why you have to be careful with what you say on platform because if something ever happened, fam. Nah, you just got to live by what you say. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I like to live by the yin and the yang. Uh, I like to live by my father, the, the guy you quoted before. And his laws, you know, talks about forgiveness and being redeemed for doing dumb shit. But it seems like a lot of men forget that about my father. And they come in with this wrath on their own fucking women and damning them no matter what even if they didn't make the mistakes completely all through their lives as all the other women that's very fucking strange to me I'm not saying that's what you're doing I'm just saying this is what I see a lot now back to this Riva vs. Ringo shit and you end up pregnant out of wedlock or you get into a relationship now you're a single mom the man left you now you're out here alone Man, that's going to be embarrassing, fam. Facts. The people going to be using your videos against you every day. They're going to be like, remember what you said about single moms? Well, look at you now. And Facts. this is why it's dangerous when women come online regurgitating what men are speaking. See, a man can talk about these things because we're men. But what when a woman fuck? try to do it, fam, it's dangerous, bro. It's a I get it, but the way you say it is just, it's crazy because, you know, you know, men speak on women shit. And by what you're kind of saying is like men should speak to men and women should speak to women, but men are making fucking thousands upon thousands of dollars shitting on women every day. And they're not teaching men how to get good women. They're teaching men how to look out for the bad ones, fuck them, pump, dump them. And then magically the good woman's going to be like, yeah, I like you. You fucked all those whores. That doesn't even make sense. And you're a godly man, Ringo, so I know you, you you understand that. A dangerous job. In their youth, in their prime, in the process of finding Mr. Right. You're talking about women in their prime finding Mr. Right and all this other stuff. Women in their prime. Sure. Okay. When you were in your prime, because maybe you're still in your prime. Maybe you're still in your 20s or whatever the case she is. She look like it. Okay. Man. How come you're not a wife right now? If But... Also, she does look a little... She's got to be like 30. You know what I mean? I ain't going to say she's 40. If she's pushing 40, that's fucking crazy. But, you know, there's a lot of women that look young and, you know, it'd be like that. But he, you know, he's calling you out. And I could have swore I made a video about this a while ago and saying, um, once I put my vibration out there, oh, it's going to start rocking and other niggas going to start shooting from the hip. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to talk about Prime. You should have all the, resu the results. Mm. If you're going to talk about a woman and talk about the prime of a woman, you should have all the results right now. Ooh, shit. If you don't have those results, you need to stop. Stop the talking, fam. Real talk. Because you're only going to make women angry. So should men have the same, you know, thing? If you're not married man, you can't talk about it. Because, see, when I speak on these issues... I bring logic and I bring solutions. Do you bring how to get that good wife? When a woman speak on it, you're going to only make women even more angry. Because they're going to look at you and they're going to be like, who are you? To you did bring up the Bible and you know it does teach men how to get a good wife, you know. So maybe you should bring us some scriptures on your, your, your thing. Because as a man of God, I think he told us to focus on him and his laws and showing his laws more than anything else to talk when you yourself most likely have drama that we just don't know about Whoa. what are your secrets Whoa. how many men you slept with what is your Whoa. body count what's going on let's hear it shit he breaks you come from on the hip. 
secrets. We all got secrets. What yeah. is your body count? What is how many it? men you slept with? Oh. Talking about these women this, these women that, how many men you done slept with? Ringo and his you care to tell us? shit right Will you come into the public and share with us, rave. the public, and tell us exactly how many men you slept with? Are you going to tell us? Oh, I don't shit. think you would. Yikes. But it's okay for you to talk about these women. Yeah. Why? Because it's okay because you're doing it because you want to please men. Uh oh. You want to build Yo, a Ringo's male a fucking, following. He's a shadow worker. The women don't watch you. I know. That. The women do not watch you. This nigga trapping. It's the baby. Sips, the no beta males, they watch you. <laughs> Are you going to talk about your issues? Uh oh. Of course not. You ain't going to do that. Uh oh. Why would you? You see my wolves and my ninjas? You see why GMB TV is about my life? Um, so when people try to use my videos against me, and I whip that fucking book out on the ass. And, uh, you know, they try to shame me for my, you know, whatever. I'm just going to shit on them with the word. You want to talk about other people's issues? They get introduced to Mr. Right now, get pregnant, have a child, or have more than one child. Be careful, because you might be that woman one day. Hey, and you never you know. You might become that woman one day. It might. Then when they're doing the single mother thing, oh. already probably stuck in their ways, now all of a sudden they, they try... Are you stuck in your ways? Possibly. Can you handle criticism? Can you be held accountable? Or do you get in your feelings? Are you in your feelings right now because Ringo <laughs> TV is talking about you? <laughs> oh, shit. Putting you on the chopping block uh, to hey, test your hey, spirit to see what hey. you're made of? Whoa, facts. Are you going to get in your feelings? Whoa. Still or are you going to be steel. just like all the women you talk about? Still sharp and still. I I really have an 80% feeling Reeve is definitely clapping back because, you know, not clapping back, but she's going to, you know, address. I hope she does because, you know, this is going to be interesting. I've been waiting for things like this for a long time. I tell you, fam, that's why these women don't like me. To find out where all the good men are. There are a lot of women who are 40 years old, 50 years old. Why are you talking about the 40 and 50? Woo! Why are you talking about the 40 and 50 year old? Uh oh. Is it because you're not 40 and you're not 50? Uh -oh. See, this is what I mean. Uh oh. She's talking about the 40 and the 50 year old. Why? Because she's wanting to rivel up their feathers. Woo! She want to get them. She want to provoke them. She want. As Ringo know about psychology, I fucks with you, dog. I see. To, to, to get their attention. How come she's not talking about the 20-year-old? How come she's not focusing on the 20-year-olds that are out there getting their back blown out every day? <laughs> Facts. Because if she's in her 20s, that's why she's not talking about 35-year-olds. She could be in her 30s, fam. I mean, I don't watch her stuff every day, but I do see her bring up some of the younger women and try to, you know what I mean? But I, like I said, I don't watch her stuff all the time, but I, I even got her on my channel. Shit. I got her giving out one of the craziest realities. And so, you know, I, I can't say you're lying because I ain't see all her stuff. Just like I ain't see all your stuff. So I can't say anyone's anything. I'm just doing what you doing. She could be in her early 30s. She could be 32. She could be 31 See, that's or 30 thinking. years old. She that's may not even be in her 20s. Now I'm saying, I think she's around there. That's why she said the 40 and 50. Why are we talking about 40 Whoa, and 50? Oh, this nigga good at psychology. Why are we even talking about them? We're supposed to be talking about around. the women of marital age in their 20s. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, you should be getting them women ready. Oh, You're talking about that? women that are already damaged. Women out here that already done messed up their whole life. Not all of them, bro. And you should know that. And, um... That redeeming thing? The stuff that we've been talking about. Men been <laughs> talking about these issues. <laughs> but you guys would go over there to listen to the same regurgitated content. Oh, and that's what's frustrating about this, Damn. man. I expect women to Damn. be addressing women. Talking about women in terms of preparing them to be these good women that they claim they're trying to do. Not speaking the same thing that men are doing. I feel you on that. I can't disagree These with women that. are literally doing what men are doing. This I, is crazy. I can't disagree with that. Let's go. Who have the mentality of an 18, 19 year old trying to still be a city girl. You're saying Whoa. that a woman who is 40 and 50 is acting like a city girl. Really? What does that have to do with teaching women how to be better women? Why you ain't... Because if younger women are watching her, 